more. South Kirk Internake. Mr. Speaker, last October the Prime Minister announced Canada's new national anti-drug strategy. Groups from every sector of the addictions field came out in support of the strategy because Canadian parents have been bombarded by confusing mixed messaging from the previous Liberal government for far too long. The Liberals' poorly devised and misplaced messaging has led to some Canadians wondering if marijuana is still illegal. Since launching the strategy, the Minister of Health has strengthened and improved the messages we send to Canada's youth on drug abuse. Would the Minister of Health please update this House on how that process is going? Good. The Honourable Minister of Health. Uh, Mr. Speaker, it is going very well, and the Honourable Member has outlined our national anti-drug strategy. Here's what I found, Mr. Speaker, when I became a Health Minister, a Liberal government-funded booklet which uh, says that young people would choose marijuana to have a good time, to experiment, to relax, to relieve boredom, to cope with problems, to be different. Well, Mr. Speaker, Canadians deserve clear anti-drug messages to protect their kids. They don't need liberal potty talk that will confuse our young people and lead to harm, Mr. Speaker.